Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlaman.com and I am back with another video and in this video we are going to discuss about cardinality. So what is cardinality? This is the content for this video and we are going to discuss about cardinality. Now, cardinality is used in a relationship to define the number of rows of one table is related with another table. So, for example, uh, let me open my Excel and for example if you have a customer table and order table then you can create a relationship in on customer and order table using customer ID and of course the customer ID is the primary key in customer table and it is a act as a foreign key in our order table now the time of cardinality is one to one one to many zero to many and many to many this is the depend on your requirement whether you want a one to many or zero to many or many to many so what is the difference between one to one or one to many zero to many and many to many in case of one to one you are going to say uh, let's say let me create another table and let me use this as a customer email and let's say official email or primary email primary email and I don't want a uh, let's say okay in this let's say I am going to add address also and let's say age and this is my email so let's say for my dot sangvi at the rate test dot com Anil dot Sharma at the rate test dot com Anuj dot Verma at the rate test dot com and the last is Rani dot Jen at the rate test dot com and let's say I have to give the random address. and give a random edge let's say in between 20 to 30 now what we are I want to explain one to one so if you are going to say you have a customer table and customer primary email table or the address table then in this scenario your address table customer primary address or customer table have one to one relationship for each customer ID I have a email ID so in these two table we are going we are going to create a one to one relationship now what is one to many or zero to many let's say I have a table contain customer and other table is order table and I want to populate all the orders for particular customer so I am going to create a one to many or zero to many relationship between customer and order table on customer ID because my customer ID is present in both the table so this is the primary key and this is the foreign key and in case of one to many only the matching records available in our uh, in our join and if you are going to say zero to many then for non matching records I am also getting the rows so for example uh, this Rani did not purchase anything so if I am going to perform one to many then this record or this customer is excluded and if I want to include this record then I have to perform or I have to define the cardinality is zero to many the last one is many to many and what is or in which scenario you are able to see the many to many relationship the past example is movie and Jenner. So I have a movie table contains movie ID and movie name and another table contains the Jenner. Jenner is action, war, love, drama, animation, comedy and so on. And I want to define in which Jenner this movie is. So let's say Spider-Man is an action movie or love movie so I created another third table this is a mapping table 
So I am mapping my movie with different genres. So this is a example of many to many relationship. My one movie is related with multiple genre. And another words or it uh, opposite genre my one genre is related with different movies. So this is the example of one to one, one to many, zero to many and many to many. Now I'm going to relate this with IBM Cognos framework manager. Now IBM Cognos uses the cardinality of a relationship in following ways to avoid double countings uh, for fact table, to support loop joins state or common in star schema models, to optimize access to the underlying data source system and to identify the query subjects to be have as a fact or dimension. For if you want to more details I am going to cover each and everything in detail in my future videos. For the timing you have to note down this and just remember uh, how Cognos use the cardinality. The next important thing the Cognos supports both the minimum and maximum cardinality and optional cardinality. Now what is minimum maximum cardinality and the optional cardinality? Let's say you have defined a 0 to 1 cardinality in a relationship or relationship between two tables or two query subject then 0 is the minimum cardinality and 1 is the maximum cardinality. The same thing for 1 to many. In this 1 is the minimum cardinality and n is the maximum cardinality. Now what do you mean by optional cardinality? Let's say if you want to perform an auto join or left auto join or full auto join then how you are going to perform this using a zero. Zero is used in case if you want to retain data of other table. In the case of uh, in the case of non matching records or the absence of the foreign key in my other table. And below are the one to n many relationship types so 0 to 1 or 0 to n and 1 to 0 to 1, 1 to n, 1 to 1 and 0 to n, 1 to 1 and 1 to n. Okay. In my previous slide I showed to identify the query subject that behaves act as a fact or dimension. So if you are defining a 1 to n relationship then in 1 to n cardinality the fact table is on the n side and the dimension table is on the one side. If you are not able to understand this point um, just stay with me I am going to explain this in my next video. In my previous video I just explained about the data layer and how to create a relationship between two query subject and in this video I am going to actually explain the cardinality and in my next video I want I am going to show how of uh, what is the actual cardinality between two query subjects okay now next this is the example uh, let's say I have one to one or one to n relationship then it will be a inner joint in case of one to n or two zero to n cardinality it is a right auto join similar 1 to n to 0 to 1 it is a right auto join 0 to n and 1 to n left auto join 0 to n to 1 to 1 left auto join again and 0 to 1 to 0 to 1 full auto join 0 to 1 and 0 1 0 to n full auto join 0 to n to 0 to n is full auto join if you are not able to understand this uh, stay with me I am going to or watch my another video in my another video I'm going to explain each and everything so this is just a theory in which I want to show what is the cardinality actually and I hope you are able to understand what exact what actually the cardinality and why to use cardinality in our framework manager model so that's it for this video in this video I explain what is cardinality different types of cardinality and why to use cardinality in our framework manager. In my next video we are going to use the same concept in our framework manager to create a cardinality in our relationships. 
so that's it for this video if you are not able to understand anything leave a comment I will try to explain those part of video with different example feel free to share don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in next video